you're debating moving to Uxbridge, Ontario to locate that small town living feel without sacrificing access to the notorious Greater Toronto Area, the GTA, well this video is for you. In this video we will go over the top 5 reasons why residents of Uxbridge are happy living here and why so many consumers are trying to move to Uxbridge. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Moise Rahman. You can call me Mo if it's easier. I'm the team leader of the Moise Rahman Real Estate Team and we actively sell real estate across the Durham region and GTA as full-time representatives for the past many years. So let's dive right into it. Now I'm going to ask you guys to wait until the end because at the end of the video we will go over the most important part as a realtor is breaking down the real estate value of Uxbridge. So stay tuned for that. Reason number one to move to Uxbridge, Ontario is the shopping. There are lots of shopping options available to you in Uxbridge. The town offers both locally owned independent businesses and big box retailers. There are two main shopping districts available in Uxbridge. Downtown Uxbridge and south of the town on Toronto Street. For shoppers who are interested in the thrill of hunt or boutique shopping experiences, downtown Uxbridge is the perfect shopping venue. The downtown district is centered on the intersection of Brock Street and Toronto Street. It features many local shops, services, and restaurants. On the southern edge of town on Toronto Street, there are several big box stores and strip malls. One of these outdoor shopping centers is Uxbridge Shopping Center. The next reason why residents are so happy living here and many want to move to Uxbridge is the recreation. As the trail capital of Canada, Uxbridge is a dream come true for hikers. But the town offers way more recreation in addition to just that. Uxbridge offers plenty of opportunities for your family and yourself to spend time outdoors with the kids or on your own at parks or at trails. The town maintains three parks that residents can spend the day relaxing or playing at. These three parks are Elgin Park, Pump Park, and Skate Park. Uxbridge's extensive trail system is the centerpiece of its recreation attractions. Whether you are looking for a day hike, a light stroll, a walk with your kids or the dog, or just some time to relax, this system has a bit of everything for everyone. From the trails, residents can explore several of the area's sites of ecological interest. These sites include Durham Regional Forest, East Duffins Headwater, West Duffins Headwater, and the Oak Ridges Moray. Beyond the trails and parks, Uxbridge also offers a recreation facility. The Uxbridge Community Center offers the option to join a hockey team, drop in for public skate time, play lacrosse or host an event. The next thing to factor when moving into Uxbridge is the schools. The Durham District School Board services Uxbridge, offering five public schools, one Catholic school, one high school and two independent schools. Here is a breakdown of the schools. Goodwood Public School, Joseph Gould Public School, Scott Central Public School, Quaker Village Public School, Uxbridge Public School, St. Joseph Catholic School and Uxbridge Secondary School. Because there's so much information available to you online, I'm a big believer of using technology to your advantage. That being said, I also recommend being familiar with the demographics of Uxbridge before deciding whether or not you want to move into Uxbridge. In Uxbridge, the average age is 46.8 years. The average household income is just above $118 thousand dollars. The percentage of renters is 17.8%. The percentage of condos is 9.4%. The percentage of low income is 8.2%. Households with children is 51.5%. The percentage of singles is 44.5% and the percentage of immigrants is 13%. The next pro of living in Uxbridge is the transportation and it's quite easy. It is not tough to get around in Uxbridge. Whether you want to drive, 
take the transit, there are options available for everyone. While Uxbridge is not directly adjacent to any 400 series highways, the fact that it's so close to the GTA makes it not that big of an issue. Some major roads in the town include Highway 47, the local name is Toronto Street, and Regional Road 8, the local name is Brock Street. Highway 47 connects Uxbridge to Highway 404 through Stouffville in the west. In the east, the highway connects Uxbridge to Highway 12, which is a direct route to Whitby, the 407, and the 401. Regional Road 8 heads out of the town to the west. It links the town with Highway 404. As for public transit, despite of its rural nature, there are public transit available for Uxbridge residents. This means that you can commute around town and get to the GTA without having a car. Durham Regional Transit provides bus services in Uxbridge. Go Transit services Uxbridge with one bus route. This bus connects with Go Train services at Link Lincolnville Station in Stouffville. These transit links allow the residents of Uxbridge direct access to larger communities of the GTA. Living in a small town does not mean having access to big city amenities, especially if the town is Uxbridge. Now let's dive into my favorite part of the video and that's the real estate value. I'm gonna hop on my computer, share my screen, and then we can break down those numbers together. So here we have the Durham Region Housing Market Report for the month of February. To give you a rough idea of where Uxbridge is on the map of Durham region. On the south side, you have Pickering, Ajax, Whitby, and Oshawa, which are pretty much on the shore of Lake Ontario. On the north side of Pickering, you have Uxbridge, Scugog, and then further north, you have Brock. This is all about Uxbridge. So as for the month of February, the average price from a mouse is right now, the average price for the average home was $1,226,793. The average price of a semi-detached, where my mouse is right here, was $932,000. There is no data for condo townhomes, condo apartments, or linked homes. And then the average townhome was $935,000. $500. Keep in mind that Uxbridge does have a lot of luxury homes, estate lots as well, and a lot of new development, and these prices are reflective of that. Now, when we compare the cities, for example, over here, we have Ajax that had 77 sales, and Clarington had 106 sales. Uxbridge did not have nearly as many sales, they had 15 sales. So real estate there isn't necessarily turning over much. Consumers there are very happy. And then the average time it takes to sell a home there is 22 days. So folks, there you have it. All the reasons to live in the small town feel of beautiful Uxbridge in Ontario. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like icon. And to ensure that you don't miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my page as well. If you would like to book a home buyer consultation completely complimentary to you to go over your home buying journey where I can guide you on the process, I can break down your budget, and most importantly, I can help you understand what mistakes to avoid that will save you thousands of dollars, you can sign up to that the link to do so is in the description below and either myself or a member of my team will get back to you as soon as possible see you in the next video signing off Moise Rahman